today I'm gonna make a cute little DIY. I'm gonna turn this beige little pumpkin to a pink one. This is for my niece. So she's like her aunt, she loves pink. So I'm gonna show you how to redo this cute little pumpkin. So I have two paints here. I have the satin acrylic paint, and this one is from uh, Target. And I also have this one, and this one is also a satin. So this one is pink frosting, and this one is sweet. What is it, sweetheart? So I think I'm gonna go with the lighter pink. I think I like this one, the sweetheart, instead of the pink frosting I think this one looks prettier so I have a little base here right here so I'm gonna add my paint I put, um, I put a little this tissue here so let me shake it up okay a little bit not too much because it's not gonna take probably just like two coats so I'm gonna take this twine out I like it it has a blob of the glue gun the glue so what I'm gonna do to remove this, you could take all your blower or if you have a heat gun, which I do, this automatically comes off. But I'll leave that for later, so let's start painting. Okay. I'm not going to talk much, guys. Just want to just finish this up, showing you a cute little way of just painting simple little things from Dollar Tree. You just try to go quick. Sorry my washing clothes. to Dollar Tree and it's like every Dollar Tree is sold out from all the Halloween items it's like such a disappointment especially if you have like something that you have on your wish list which I do have two items that I've been searching for and I haven't found it and I don't know if you guys know it's the sign the poison sign with the cute little potion models I haven't seen them at all and I go to a lot of different Dollar Tree. I don't just stick to one Dollar Tree, guys. Okay, so let's see. Yeah, we're just gonna do a quick little painting. I don't know if I'm gonna leave that part like that white. I think I need a, like a thinner brush. I definitely need a thinner brush. Yeah, so like I was saying, it's like if they run out of certain items, I don't know why they don't just, you know, re-up and order more because it's just like such a disappointment just going to another one hoping that you find that certain item. Okay. 
Okay, so basically this is the house looking so far. So I'm gonna let it dry and I'm gonna work with these parts here and then I go get a smaller thin brush and I'll come back guys. Okay, so this is how it looks so far. It's not dry yet, but it's getting there. I know that I went over the white, but that's nothing. If you want, you could get like masking tape and just, you know, put it around um, the regular where the beige was. And so you won't hit the white, but I don't mind. It doesn't matter to me. I'ma just keep working with it and trying to do my best. Remember, this is a DIY. You can just have it fun with it. It's not gonna be perfect. Just go over with the white because it's so much work, you know, trying to, you know, do it neat. It's too much. So we're just gonna go over the white and redo it again with the white. It's not worth it, guys. It's too much work. You're just wasting your time. So just go over your letter. Okay. 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 So let's just wait until it dries and then we go over the, the cute little design and your letters. Yeah, you just, I'm just wasting my time trying to go over it and over it. It's too hard. Make sure I get in there too. Get a good amount of paint if you're gonna redo this ceramic pumpkin. Make sure you get everything. Okay, so 
okay so this was two coats so i'm gonna go with the white and this is a satin white so i'm gonna put some in my small little acrylic little tray here and um you need to go with a with a real light um i mean a thin brush really thin this was the thinnest brush that i had so i don't know how it's gonna work i don't want to put too much paint but if i do i'ma just um just repaint it again um let's see. start from here I already got pain on my fingers. I'm going over, you see guys? I even I make mistakes. I need a thinner brush. That's what it is. I can't work with a brush like this. It's not working. Looking. I'm doing the best that I could. Just my mistake is the brush is like so thick. You can even add glitter to these if you want. Mm, this is the best that I could do. Mm, just go a little thicker.
this is how it looks guys so what i'm gonna do like my little mistakes like there how we do with the um, frosting pink that i have and um you know go light and check if i have another another thin brush so the stem i don't know what i'm gonna do with it i don't know if i'm gonna paint the white or like a beige let's just see how white will look go put my prints on it get smudged just have fun with this Just go over like I said with my frosted pink paint and I'm gonna let it dry and then I'll continue.